The Disaster Artist is a comedy drama film and is directed by James Franco and stars James Franco, Dave Franco and Seth Rogen. The Disaster Artist tells the true story of the making of one of the worst films ever made, The Room. And the film also shows the friendship between Greg Sestero and Tommy Wiseau. This was a great film and no question, one of the best of the year. But if I do have to be honest, I do think it's being overpraised a little bit too much. Like, it's good, but it's not that good. And the problems I do have with this film are minor. In fact, some of my problems with this movie are just nitpicks. But I'll get what I liked out of the way first. The acting in this film was phenomenal. And the real standout in this movie is no question James Franco. James Franco gives what I think is one of the best performances of his entire career. And this is almost a flawless performance except for the fact that he's wearing a fake wig. But for the majority of this film, I completely forgot I was watching James Franco playing Tommy Wiseau. I actually thought I was watching Tommy Wiseau himself. And even when there are scenes where James Franco is acting alongside his brother Dave Franco, I completely forgot they were brothers. I believe that these two brothers were playing their own separate characters. And everyone else in the movie does a fine job as well. But if James Franco doesn't get a nomination for this performance, it will be one of the biggest snubs of the year. Another thing I have to praise is the story, and it is a very fascinating story. Although I have seen this story done before by another film about a terrible maker who does terrible movies, and that film is Ed Wood. And if you were to tell me which film I think told the better story of a terrible filmmaker who makes terrible movies, I still think Ed Wood is the better movie. But The Disaster Artist still does a good job of telling its own story. The scenes where they are shooting the movie is easily the highlight of the movie. These scenes were the most entertaining thing to watch. The comedy and acting in these scenes were top notch. And now we get to the stuff that I thought was not that great. Now, this film is a true story, and much like a lot of true story films, there's always going to be historical inaccuracy. One scene where this inaccuracy is found is at the end, where the room is making its big premiere for the first time ever. And while the room is being shown, more people are laughing at it, and then Tommy Luzo leaves the theater and like he's ashamed that people are laughing at him and that he made a terrible movie. But then he quickly warms up to the idea that they're laughing at his film because they enjoyed it so much. And I thought this was a bit weird because The Room when it first came out was considered one of the worst films of all time and it took multiple rewatchings for people to say it's a bad movie but it's enjoyable as hell. So I did find it weird that on the very first showing of this movie Tom Wiseau is like oh it's gonna be a cult classic. Throughout the film there are a few awkward and cringe-worthy moments that make the film unbearable to watch. And my last gripe with this movie is I honestly don't think this film will stand the test of time. If I was to watch this film 10 years from now, I don't think it would hold up as well. This movie feels like a film that is very much of the moment. And while the original movie, The Room, will hold up for a long time, the film about the making of The Room, I don't think will hold up as well. Because a lot of things in this film don't feel timeless. I don't know, time will tell, but I kind of feel like this film won't hold up as well. And just one more small thing, while James Franco acts phenomenally in this, I do think he's kind of a boring director. The entire cinematography of the movie is pretty dull, and there's no style to this film to make it distinct. And I have watched other films directed by James Franco, and honestly, they were boring to watch, and a lot of that has to do with his direction. Like, there's no exquisite shots, there's no creative editing in this movie. This is pretty much a standard directed film. Overall, the problems I have with this movie are only minor, and while the problems may not affect average moviegoers, it did affect me while I was watching this movie. And don't get me wrong, I really liked this movie. James Franco's performance makes this movie. The acting is phenomenal, the story is really good. I would highly recommend this movie. While this film is easily one of the best films of the year, the small problems stop me from truly liking this movie. Movie. And I'm going to give The Disaster Artist a 9 out of 10. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, be sure to like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, and subscribe to my channel below. As always, I'm Netix5. Thank you for watching.